all right y'all we've got a weird lighting situation going on here but i can't be bothered sorting it out but it'll do um and you perch precariously on the arm of my sofa so if you fall off well you've not got far to fall it's, it's all right okay look guys this has really set the cat amongst the pigeons have you seen this this was uh, a live stream that kathy the friend did yesterday who's kathy the friend i hear you say it's a friend of candace the one who helped candace a lot when uh, dom was in jail and candace recently has been horrible to kathy and said that she's stolen summer's jacket and this memory box and well it's a kathy's all candace has got to do is pick it up we've talked about this right so that's who kathy is she's coming online now and she's she's telling some truths and honestly I, I believe kathy i don't think she's got a massive reason to lie i mean yeah candace accused her of stealing but this text or message or whatever that kathy shared has really set the cat amongst the pigeons well i spoke to the boys last night so this is candace talking and they told me and the counselor that they don't want to come back home with me and don and that's what they're going to tell the judge so people are saying that kathy shouldn't have shared this information and well she has i thank kathy for doing that every little bit of information that can be used in my opinion at this stage at this stage that doesn't compromise summer's investigation i'm up for it i want to see it I'm, I'm that's where i am right that's where i am now don went on the lab with josh and uh, he's been on the lab's channel before he knows josh he knows josh's opinion about what uh what what he believes happened to summer josh said right to don's face um in this live that uh, he believes there was a terrible accident that was covered up hello come on then come on can you see her you can't see her she's off camera she's here mm -hmm. there she is what's up what's up she's a good girl okay so he's confirmed that the boys are not coming back he's confirmed it so um yeah i'm gonna play you a few minutes of this i'll leave a link to it in the description box i'm gonna comment throughout you know, good work josh let me just turn my volume up oh she's not gonna hear a thing she's licking my feet You don't want to lick my feet. Mm. Well, I saw you. I, I saw on Candace's channel. I saw you. I mean, you do. You obviously have been doing it for a long time. You do. You do great work. But yeah, but it's not enough money to do much of anything, though. Okay, I can but, understand but, that. But the thing of it is, is where the boys are at. They, they, man, they're, they're right. He's a drywaller. Now, that kind of trade in this country, if you're good at it and you work hard you're going to make a decent living and see what kathy says what others who know the wells have said is that don has made good money but candace doesn't see it and uh, when he goes on his little trips to knoxville that's where the money goes so let's just cast the blame onto everyone else i don't make enough money to give my boys a decent life no don it's because you don't want to but we're not here for that but doing these people got money mm -hmm. uh, well i don't know how much money they got. i don't know a whole lot about them but i know that they're able to they're in basketball football they're great doing great you know yeah i'm happy for them i'm not mad 
Who would want to go back to Don Wells and his N-word, his drunken rants? Because if anything, right, if they've... Look. Even if Don, Candice, Grandma had absolutely nothing to do with Summer's disappearance, other than Don was at work and Candice wasn't watching her and Grandma was having a nap or whatever she was doing, right? And they got nothing to do with Summer's disappearance. You cannot deny that we have seen, we have seen multiple times what those boys and Summer would have been subjected to. Who would want to go back to that life? Now, I know that, you know, kids love the parents, even if the parents are abusive, that sometimes, often even, happens. But it's nearly two years. It would be two years in July that the boys were taken. And we're going to hear exactly what Don said in the days after the boys were taken, in a moment. Yeah, I'm, I'm hurt in my heart, yes. Yeah, but uh, but I'm happy that they're happy. So so it is, so the, the text is true? I believe it is. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. Well, I, I am sorry to hear about that. Oh, well, it's okay. I mean, that's just the way it, it's the way it is. I'm, I'm just, me and Candace are happy for them. And, and we're just, you know, that's, we're going to do whatever is best for them. And that's, that's, yeah, that's good. That's good. So, you know, Don going on WJHL a couple of months ago saying that the boys were kidnapped. I think we can put that one to bed because we know exactly what happened. The story that came out was that uh, Candice rang Child Protective Services because Don had been off on a bender wherever where and she rang them. This is just a story that came out, right? It backfired on her because she didn't realise that she would have be. She didn't realise that she would also be drug tested. So they both tested positive for drugs. That's the story that came out. Now, it's not the initial story. The initial story was captured by Jays for Justice. 24th of July 2021 and this is on Jays for Justice you know fair use uh, all that stuff links in description go and listen to these um but this is what Don said to Jay well you stopped posting on Facebook so the rumor swirling around was that you had left town and you were MIA so everybody was like is Don around is Don around yeah. Well, I'm glad you stepped away from social media. I think that was the best thing for you. I'm trying to get Candace to do the same thing. She's still on there. Yeah. So social media was the reason why the boys were taken. The rumor is that they were taken out of the home. Were they taken from you guys? Yeah. Were they? Oh, no. Yeah. Yesterday? Uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, oh. I'm so right sorry. Now, right now, with everybody attacking us and all this stuff going on, right now, it's probably better for that. Was it for their safety? Like, from that? No, no. no there's more to it than that. But... Uh oh. Um, Is it more in the case with. What's... These cops and things and. Everywhere we go, they take pictures of us, and it's on and on and on. It's just never ending. Yeah, were people and, um, still coming to the house? You cut out for a second there. Um, well, yeah, we had the cops come up there the other day. I wanted Candace to do another, uh, whatever, the lot of tests, but I told her, unless it's TBI, don't do So he's wandered off a little bit from the story, so... All the ruckus that was going on with the uh, YouTubers, you know, Don tells Josh. <laughs> I've not heard this story before, but Don tells Josh that um, there were psychics down on his bottom property um, that were about to get into a gunfight, which, which I find hilarious. But Don blames the YouTubers, then he blames the police, and 
Then he goes on to say what actually happened. Is this the sheriff that wants her to do it? I don't know for sure, but wow. uh, I'm not cooperating fully with TBI. Have whatever. you guys thought about uh, getting an attorney? Yeah, we have an attorney. Oh, okay. Uh, what does he think she should do? Do they? Do they? I don't think they did. Did they? Uh, does he think she should do it or no? Like, he, uh, he should be giving you guys uh, advice, uh, you know? I wouldn't do it unless it's, like I told her, unless it's TBI. I'm willing to work with them. They're more of a professional. I'm not going to go with some county, county trying to balance or something like that. Right. I ain't going to talk to them. Right. Did she tell them that? No, I don't tell them that. No. I mean, I'll let them know. Whatever. But they don't want ridiculous. you to do one, though. Just her. No, yeah, just so, you know. Yeah, everybody's really pointing fingers at her. They really are. Yeah, and they're all dead wrong. Oh, that guy came and saw you guys, didn't he? Chris or whatever? Did he come to your house? Chris McDonough? The... I don't know. Dude, there's so much going on. I just... Yes, he, yes, he did know. Yes, he did know. Said they had the inside scoop with TBI and that... Uh, they knew that I sold my daughter for drugs. And oh, I flipped right. out. I flipped out. And, you know, I believed that stuff. Like, it, it, I believed it. Then I flipped out. You know, I started drinking and everything else. Oh, no. I took their kids. There you go. So people accused him and rang the cops that he sold his daughter for drugs. So he flipped out and... He went to Knoxville drinking. Knoxville, Kentucky, wherever he went, right? And this was the time when the TBI allegedly were trailing him and he gave cocaine away free, $2,000 worth, to show the TBI that he didn't need money, even though drywalling doesn't make any money, but he didn't need money. He didn't need to sell summer for drugs. Okay, so that's why the boys were taken. Back to what he told Josh. Right, we're going to skip a bit because he said something very interesting at the end. But it, but it is, I think there is a possibility that Summer got mad because she asked the boys to go down downstairs and play with toys with her and they was too busy playing their games or whatever. And there is the possibility she got mad. You know, and, and stop down the street saying nobody cares or, or something in her mind. That's I think that's a possibility. So she stomped down the street. So no one came up in the basement. No one came up on the hill. So there's now a possibility that Summer got mad. And she was feisty, feisty little girl, you know. She got mad at her brothers, so that might be why... Her Brothers said, it's not my fault. And then she stomped down the street. Right, so which street? Are we are we talking about her stomping down the driveway? Right, let's look at the map. Let's look at where Summer could have stomped. All right, let's do it. 110 Ben Hill Road. All right. Don't lose access to personalised maps. I don't want personalised maps. Just shut up. Right. Okay. 110 Ben Hill Road. All right. So the dog trail is about, I don't know, here-ish. Driveway's here. Beach Creek Road's here. All right. So possibility she stomped down the street so she's gonna stomp down the street by coming out of the basement door stomp 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 she has to go all the way down here all the way down here and then down the drive and then stomp down the hill all right so stomp down ben hill road which might explain why her brother saw her leave and might explain why the first stories that came out were that summer walked away from her home. That makes more sense. Or she could have gone down the cutting. This is shallower. Gone down the cutting where that's permanently. Like the tree service have been working on it. 
So she stomped down there, stomped down to the creek. She could paddle through the creek and stomp down Beach Creek Road, which would explain why Candice went all the way down here and all the way down here and all the way down here. So is it that they actually knew that Summer had got mad? Uh, maybe Candice knew that Summer was mad? Or this could be just another story. And Don did say it's just a possibility. All right. Hmm. She took off. Think, that she, that she got mad. And, you know, but... So she did walk away. No, even though she would never walk away. All right. So Josh went on to say he believed it was an accident, and Don denied that that Candice would call the you know authorities if that had happened. Um. Summer got mad. Summer got mad and walked away. So Candice would have known that, surely. Because if a little kid gets mad, you know they're mad, don't you? Like, they scream, they shout. They're not... They're, they're, they're not... They don't... They don't inwardly see little kids, do they? They're not good at that. You know. Did Candice get mad? Did everyone get mad? Did the boys get mad? Is this just another tall tale? Or could there be some truth in this? Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, I've been Michelle. Hope you're well. I'll see you in the next video. And it's goodbye from Miss Tillington, who's, I don't know, downstairs. I don't know. And Miss Cassie Springer. There she is. Bye, guys.